Hi, this is Nick Wilschut from the Metal Band Permeator and today I'm going to show you how to play uh, the sword. <laughs> First, uh, I'm going to play the whole song for you and then um, I'm going to show you how to play all the different riffs.
So, that's the full song. Um, yeah, uh, here I play the solo. I'm not going to show you how to play each note of the solo because then this video is going to take probably an hour. <laughs> um, but if you want to learn it, it's pretty simple. You just slow the video down and you can uh, see what I'm doing and not doing a lot of technical stuff here. So, uh, good luck with that. Um, the first riff of this song, uh, which is also the main riff, um, starts off with one guitar and that guitar does this. Uh, faster. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm doing a getting the note, which is uh, first note, 13, uh, 7, 5, so 12, 13, 7, 8, 5, 12, 13, like that, uh, and then I'm, uh, I'm picking the first note, mute on the uh, E string, so next note, and then here it's I'm not doing the, the muted here. And here I alternate. As you can see in this camera right here. Uh, like that. F uh, full speed. Then the last time around we have a little variation going on, which is uh, 15, 13, 12. Uh, instead of the of a something like that. Um, next riff is uh, a bit more tricky. Um, this one, um, yeah, you should learn it with a metronome and then when you can do it, it becomes a muscle memory and it's not so difficult anymore. Um, I can sing and play it, so you can also play it if you practice. <laughs> um, it's... Uh, what's going on here is we have... So that's a power chord, so a descending passage of the third, second, open, again open, second, third, full speed goes like, and then we end up with the, then, then a um, minor power chord, I guess, so we have, uh, fifth fret on the um, A string and third fret on the D instead of having regular power chord uh, inverted, I guess. And then we have that same inverted power chord. So here I'm playing these two notes and then so full riff at full speed um, you can kind of rest your hand with it and then you go back to the uh, full speed that part is a little tricky but um, if you learn it, it, it's it it seems more tricky than it actually is. Um. That's it. Um, next riff is um, a little slower. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm starting on a power chord on the uh, fifth fret on the A string, then the 
this note moves up one, uh, moves up a half step. Then the bottom note moves down. Then the whole thing moves up a half step. So full, uh, full rip. Like that. And second time around we have. That's again the inverted power chord. And then we have, um, that's four, three, uh, five, four. And then back to the same riff again. Um, then we go into the chorus. Um, this one is a little strange. <laughs> What I'm doing here is I'm first we have so that's then six five seven then six six then three four five then three four four and that just repeats a couple times. That's it. Um, then the whole song just repeats, and then we go into the clean uh, melodic part. Um, first, we have a. This part is very easy. It's a <coughs> open uh, E chord, and then a um, D. <coughs> I'm just going from high string to the D and then start over again. Um, and the um, yeah, it's basically just these two chords, and then first you have like a And then we go into it's the same chords, just I'm not fully muting the string, so I'm not going, but I'm opening it up a bit, not completely. So we have. Then after uh, the solo, we go into this part and we have again the inverted power chord, the minor one, and then we have the major uh, power chord. Then I do this. Or, um, so the first one is uh, ten, eight. Oh, sorry, ten, nine, seven. Then we have a nine, seven. That repeats a couple of times, and then we go into a. And the same thing as before, just with a, a lot of distortion and reverb and stuff. <laughs> and then we come into the last part, which is. Uh, sorry. That's inverted one, major one, 
major down here on the third fret and then again inverted one on the second fret and open D string. So here I bend a little. Here we go up. And we end on this one. So when we go up, we go, we move the whole thing one full cool step up and then go into the major one, which is half step up and then a full step with the inverted one. That's it. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.